Pascal Survival Late Night Live. Thanks for joining me. Let's talk about uh, the ongoing war with Trump and DeSantis. I just want to let you know that, you know, a lot of people are speculating he will be arrested tomorrow um, or taken in, indicted, whatever language you're going to use. But uh, they are already setting up bail codes. See here, let me turn the volume down, but you see here they're already setting up barricades around uh, <clears throat> the Manhattan courthouse. So I think they are, you know, planning to do something, although they've been keeping it pretty quiet, other than saying that Trump's just making claims about these sort of things. Um, I do want to talk about the ongoing war and why the left Democrats want this between Trump and DeSantis. And I think it's going to be pretty eye-opening. Um, DeSantis spoke out and, and, and slammed the Manhattan DA, calling him Soros-funded for weaponizing the office as Trump rumors swirl. Um, so he slammed Alvin Bragg on Monday, saying he was a Soros-funded prosecutor. Now, a lot of people have been saying that Soros endorsed DeSantis, but I'm going to play the actual clip for you and let you determine that for yourself that this is an actual endorsement or what he's really trying to say. So obviously here, DeSantis is, is uh, slamming Alvin Bragg and saying he's a Soros funded prosecutor and pursuing a political agenda and weaponizing the office. Um, and so he said, I've seen rumor, this is DeSantis saying, I've seen rumors swirl and I have not seen any facts yet. And so I don't know what's going to happen when he was asking about the potential indictment of uh, Donald Trump. He said, the Manhattan district attorney is source funded prosecutor. And so he, like the other source funded prosecutors, they weaponize their office to impose political agenda on society at the expense of the rule of law and public safety. So, um, he goes on to say, but I do know this. Um, oh, he said, I don't know. He says, no, I don't know what goes into paying hush money to a porn star to secure silence over some type of alleged affair. And he said, and then laughter broke out. He said, I just can't speak on that. So I'll actually play that clip for you so you can hear that for yourself. Here we go. I don't know what goes into paying hush money to a porn star to to secure silence over some type of alleged affair. I just I can't speak to that. But what I can speak to is that if you have a prosecutor who is ignoring crimes happening every single day in his jurisdiction and he chooses to go back many, many years ago uh, to try to use something about porn star hush money payments, you know, that's an example of pursuing a political agenda and weaponizing the office. So he was, he, he was essentially placing shade onto Alvin Bragg and, and saying that it was, you know, wrong for him to do that. But he also threw, threw some shade at Trump on this, you know, but what he did say that I thought later on, and that I brought, he, he brought a serious light to an issue is that he said that's bad, but the real victims are ordinary New Yorkers, ordinary Americans in all these different jurisdictions that do that they get victimized every day because of the reckless political agenda that the Soros funded DAs bring to their job. They ignore crime and they empower criminals. So I, I did like that he said that because he's, he's spot on. They're allowing criminals to get off easy. However, they are, you know, using their positions for political agenda. Trump actually made a few responses to DeSantis. I guess he he took offense to the jab, saying he didn't know what went into paying porn star hush money. But he said uh, to Ron DeSantis will probably, no, no, Ron DeSantis is dropping in the poll so fast that he soon may be falling behind young Vivek Ramaswamy. People are beginning to find out that Ron wanted to destroy Social Security and raise his minimum wage to at least 70. He also had strong plans for cutting Medicare and still does. Nothing good happens when you're a disciple of Super Rhino Paul Ryan. Also, Florida did a, a great long before the Sanctus came along. 
he got my coveted endorsement and shot like a rocket and won. So that wasn't, he, he, he didn't just stop there. He went on here too. Um, Rhonda St. Ammonius will probably find out about Fox accusations and fake stories sometime in the future as he gets older, wiser, and better known. When he's unfairly and illegally attacked by a woman, even classmates that are underage, or possibly a man. I'm sure he will want to fight these misfits just like I do. And so he posted this old photo of Ron when he was in his 20s uh, teaching at a Georgia school at a, a drinking party with underage girls. He posted this photo up. So, you know, he, 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 was very, he was very upset about the comment about paying porn star hush money, which I don't know why he's upset because it's the truth. I mean, that's this really what he did. He paid a porn star hush money. So, but like I said, some people have been saying in circles around social media that DeSantis is endorsed by George Soros. But I have that footage, and uh, that's not at all what I got from it. So I want to play it for you to play, because I see people using clips of it, but you're not getting the full video and getting the full context. I want to show it to you, and then you tell me what you gather from it in the comments, and then I'll tell you also what I got from it. My hope for 2024 is that Trump and Governor DeSantis of Florida will slug it out for the Republican nomination. So it's hard to understand his accent, but he's saying that he said it's 2024. He hopes that Trump and DeSantis will slug it out for the Republican nomination. Trump has turned into a pitiful figure. He said Trump has turned into a pitiful figure. So obviously, Soros hates Trump. I think I think we knew that anyway. Continually bemoaning his loss in twenty twenty, saying that he's mourning his loss in twenty twenty. Still, big Republican donors are abandoning him in droves. He's saying that Republican donors are abandoning him in drones. And I'm sorry I'm repeating everything he's saying, so if you can hear him clearly, sorry, but I just want to make sure you can understand what he says. The Santis is shrewd, ruthless, and ambitious. He's like... So he said he's shrewd, rude, and ambitious. I mean, I don't necessarily know if these are compliments, but... ...to be a Republican candidate. This could induce Trump, whose narcissism has turned into a disease, to run. A He's saying that this could induce Trump into his narcissism uh, turn, uh, coming into becoming a disease. As a third party candidate. To basically for him, for Trump to run as an independent. That would uh, lead to a democratic landslide. And that would lead to a Democrat landslide. And force the Republican Party to reform itself. But perhaps I may be just a little bit biased. My hope for but 20... He said I may just be a little bit biased. So what he's saying is, and there's a lot of people saying this and speculating this, is that he's saying that Trump, if, if DeSantis will run, win the Republican primary, that he believes that Trump will run independent, in turn splitting the Republican vote. So some Republicans will vote in for the Republican ticket, which would be DeSantis, and the uh, loyal Trump voters will vote for Trump as an independent and will lock in a Democrat landslide because then Democrats will win. And so what you have to understand, so you may come from a state that you have to register as a Republican, Democrat, or independent. Many states don't have to register, so you can really technically go vote. So a lot of people that hate Trump may just go vote DeSantis. They may be, you know, uh, they may identify as a Democrat, but still go vote for DeSantis in the in the primaries for DeSantis to win. And then Trump runs independent, and he will split <coughs> the vote because a lot of people vote for Trump, and then it'll be a landslide victory for Democrats. Um, but let me remind you, DeSantis has still not even said he was running. It's just speculation. I mean, I think he probably will too. Um, <laughs> Daddy, Daddy Prepper, pull up and push up time. Meanwhile, soy boy sleep. That's right, buddy. 
get it in, get while they're sleeping, get it in. Um, thank you for that. But the thing is, man, I've seen friendships lost, families uh, distance themselves, not talk anymore uh, over, you know, politics, left and right um, agendas over the past, you know, six, seven years. But we're going to see even more friendships lost and family members split over the DeSantis and Trump. You know, um, I hate, you know, I hate this is happening. I, I, I didn't think I would ever see something like this ha come or happen, um, you know, but at, at this rate, I don't foresee if, if, if it goes this way, there will not be a Republican winner in 2024. You know, <clears throat> people are so up in arms, either they hate Trump, <clears throat> love DeSantis, um, some people want DeSantis because they want some new blood in there. It's just a lot going on. And, and I think it's just not a good time for us not to be unified. Now, I warned you guys this was going to happen, what, six, eight months ago, whenever I just I said they would wind up going to each other's strokes because that's what they always do. However, um, in previous years, they were much more mellow. But, you know, Trump is a uh, tiger. <laughs> he he is a – he's, he's – uh, world-class trash talker so he you know will go quickly into it you know <clears throat> um nit diver thanks buddy and amen to that <clears throat> but i also want to show another article that echoes what i'm saying that was on breitbart day i thought it was very good and this is actually coming from mike cernovich desantis should not even bother running if trump is arrested He's an author and a filmmaker, and he he told Breitbart uh, today that um, DeSantis should not even run if uh, Trump is arrested, predicting that such an event would lead to a Democrat blowout victory. Um, Marlowe said that the left wants Trump to be the Republican presidential nominee for 2024 and intends to use the arrest of the former president as a catalyst to ensure Trump's victory in the GOP race for the party's presidential nomination. He said, my take is it makes it more likely Trump will win a primary and less likely that he'll win the general election. Marlowe assessed of a possible future arrest of Trump. I think that's been how the left has played this ever since he left office to basically assure that Trump will be the nominee and then assure that he will lose a general because if Trump is the nominee, then that gets all the anti-Trump vote out there. And so then they don't even have to worry about a pro Biden vote or whatever, because Biden didn't win the election because people wanted Joe Biden president is because people hated Donald Trump. <clears throat> so um, that always feels like that's been the tactic for me. It seems like that what's playing out. Cernovich replied, yet I agree with the with you 100% Trump wins the primary in such a landslide so I would hope DeSantis who I'm quite fond of wouldn't even bother running because all he's going to do is get a bloody nose over nothing he continued Trump will win the primary and then the other democrats are going to come out and vote and if they see Trump as getting scalped they're going to love it steady blood loss and there will be a, a get out and vote effort for democrats like you haven't ever seen before um Widespread Demo Democrat content for Trump would generate a Democrat victory in 2024 if Trump secures the Republican presidential nomination, uh, Cernovich replied. Um, he said Democrats are not high propensity voters necessarily, except when Trump's on the ballot. That's why people go. How did Joe Biden get more than Obama? It's because people hate Trump that much. I'm sorry if you don't know anyone who hates Trump, then I would encourage you to please get out and taught us some people. Trump is the most hated president in our lifetime by far. The people that hate Trump so much, you know, they can look past. Uh, and this is this is me talking now. Um, so let me let me uh, thank a couple of these people. Charles, thanks. Um, they issued a statement for a nuclear war with the USA. Today's Interpol releases Putin. Yeah, yeah, and, you know. <laughs> It's not looking good anywhere, is it? Uh, Kathy Irvin, divide and conquer. Yep, exactly what I talked about last night. Thank you. Exactly. So <clears throat> people do hate Donald Trump, even Republicans. And people like I, on my video last night, if you went through the comments, I saw people 
like going like they wrote five paragraph orders about how our thesis is if, if you're a civilian they wrote out like how much they hated trump and this and that you know they'll blame the state of the country on trump the the ohio the palestine ohio uh train derailments blame on trump i mean it's just absolutely bizarre that people hate this man that much because the media told you to the media told you to hate him right and and this is the thing like like i say time and time again there's plenty of things i dislike about trump i don't like the warp speed I don't like he he paid money to sleep with a porn star and have an affair on his wife. I don't like that he uh, said, take the guns and ask questions later. I don't like he banned bump stocks. I don't like many of those things. But do you think there there's not a chance in hell that I would have ever vote for Joe Biden? You know what I'm saying? So the, the thing, that, that's what blew my mind about some people that I knew personally in, in the, uh, 2016 is that they were like, oh, I hate Trump. Uh, so you're going to vote for Hillary. I'm just not going to vote. So you want Hillary Clinton to be president? You know, that that's the thing, like, it's mind boggling that people just focus in because the media tells you to hate someone, you know, the country was in a far better place. I don't care who you are, right? People hate Trump so much that they can look past that the banks are closing, literally banks are closing. Do you remember 2008 when the Democrat was president and, and the economy fell too, right? That only happens under Democrat presidents for the most part, uh, you know, and, and, and your money's always worth less. You lose Tons of money in 401k, stocks, plummet, all these sort of things that happens under Democrat pres presidency. Republican presidents, gas is cheap. You make money in your stocks, all these sort of things. But people are so conditioned by the media to believe narratives. They can look past banks closing. They can look past that their dollar is worth less, that their 401ks are worth less, their stocks are worth less. They can look past that. You know, they can, they can uh, look past that their money isn't that valuable anymore. Um, the dollar's falling. They can barely afford to eat. They can barely, you can, $8 eggs. Bacon's $12. Bacon used to be $3. Bacon's $12 now. And, you know, they can barely afford to put gas in their car P because people were told orange man bad and, and just, they, they don't care. They're like, I will rule my life. I'll go get in a cage and eat, cr be fed crickets as long as Trump isn't president. That's how bizarre these people are, how brainwashed, um, you know, they, they, they can't even see that the rest of the world sees the looming weakness of America. And now countries that would have never, ever thought about talking about going to war with us are actually considering it, threatening us. Never happened before. We never had vocalized threats like this from China. Never. And I guess North Korea, like my man said, um, and they're, they're testing, inter, uh, Kim Jong-un is testing intercontinental ballistic missiles every day now. Um, <laughs> I mean, he, him and his wife sitting out there eating, e eating caviar and drinking champagne while they're watching intercontinental ballistic missiles go off. So they can, they're okay with the possibility of World War III as long as Orange Man Bad isn't president, right? Um, they can look past indoctrination of children as long as Orange Man Bad isn't president. That's how conditioned these people are, right? They're, they're gone. They're gone. They're like zombies um, because orange man is bad. You know, I saw this tweet. I always, always like to share tweets. I saw this tweet. This was very, a very good tweet. I don't know who this person is, but I saw it. And uh, it says, if the dollar goes to zero, the only thing of value is landing guns, right? That, I mean, I think that's pretty true. A lot of people talk about gold. A lot of people talk about a lot of different things, but really, Land and guns, man. Think if you think back to the uh, 1800s, what was important? Land and guns, right? So I hate to see this this type of uh, warfare inflicted on us. Is is uh, inflicted on Americans? I mean, this is fifth dimensional warfare and and divide and conquer, and people fall for it. It started out in 2020. 2020, 2019, with the racial issues, trying to divide and conquer through that, split up Americans by race. So now your skin color becomes your tribe and you need to vote for th this person because all uh, we have your best interests in mind, which is never true. <laughs> um, and now it's more so let's split up even the people in the same uh, political ideologies, right? um yeah mike he sure does man 
Yeah, Mac, that is true, brother. Um, thank you guys too. It, when when your money is worthless, that's when it's too late, you know. And and I think that's going to come to a realization for a lot of people. Banks are closing, and you're not hearing about them. Maybe you are if you go look. You know, your financial gurus out there. I know I got some that follow me. Some of you, some of you stock guys, things like that, will email me. Um, and uh, thank you for you know all your emails. But uh, it's 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 bad. But you don't see it because they don't want to scare you they don't want they don't want you to get worried and think all oh, democrats are doing bad it's just like how every day during trump presidency you would see any time something bad happened to a black man by police during then every day there was something something happened some you don't hear about now still happening still still bad things are happening to black men by police but you don't hear about it you know it's, it's just it's just not heard about Bad things happen to white people from police that you never hear about, right? So it's just how the media tries to spin these narratives to divide and conquer. And I would I would ask you guys that are viewers, and I know there are people from all walks of life and in different ideologies, but understand that these are tactics and these are ploys. Don't fall for it, right? Because their their ultimate goal is not your best interest. I can promise you that none of these people, no one's coming to save you. None of these people have your best interests in mind. I can assure you of that. You know, a lot of times politicians get in the game and they may get in the game for the right reason, but over time they get involved in money. They're making money, you know, and they're passing bills that may not fall on the party because they make, you know, a little money on the side. Maybe they get donations from this corporation to scratch, you know, their back. Um, so just know that no one's coming to save you, right? You and your family know how to defend yourself, have food, have all these sort of things. But again, um, I'm very afraid of this tactic. That I think this is a very structured tactic they're going to be using to try to split the nominee. And, uh, it's going to lead to a Democrat. I don't see the country lasting for another four years. Under It may not last until the election, but I don't foresee it lasting if Joe Biden is president again. Right? I, I don't foresee it happening. So anyway, guys, I'd like to know your thoughts and comments. And, and please let me know on if there any more than about the George Soros thing, because that's all I could find. That's the only clips I saw people using to say that Soros endorsed DeSantis. I don't take it as that at all. I think he's echoing exactly what Mar uh, Mike Cernovich said on Breitbart. It's a tactic to split the vote. That's why they're pushing. And they will go vote. Democrats will go vote in states you don't have to register to get DeSantis as the primary nominee to get him out, right? I would I would, I would almost you know say that, yeah, if DeSantis runs against Trump, he's going to get a bloody nose. And it's probably going to hurt him going forward, um, to be honest. DJ, thanks, man. And thanks for your support, brother. Glad to have you on the tribe. Yeah, man. Always pray for the best. <laughs> Daniel, thanks, man. All right, guys. Thanks so much for uh, hanging out with me tonight. Let me know your comments, your thoughts. Let me know if there's any other tactics or uh, structural way they may be trying to configure this because uh, some of you guys are out there in the net more than I am. So let me know. Let me know. I'd like to know what you uh, or any theories you have. So let me know. And as always, remember to stay frosty, stay strapped, guys, and stay dangerous. Take care. Go join our tribe too. Link.